This is a brief presentation on the African comedic history of cataract surgery. Cataract and microinvasive glaucoma surgery started in Africa about 2700 BCE. Important medical historical figures around this time were Tahotep, who wrote the first book, Mhotep, the first physician, and Iri, who was the first ophthalmologist. And this is his stele. A couching technique is the oldest form of uh, documented case of cataract. Here is a famous a small statue from the 5th dynasty, about 2400 BC, and this is seen in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo, Egypt. This statue was discovered in 1816 in Saqqara and dates from the Old Kingdom and represents a male figure, the priest reader Ka Aper. We found an obvious white pupil reflex in the left eye. This finding is in an aged man, probably indicates a mature cataract. Moreover, it does not appear in the right eye and we suggest that the author carefully inspected the man with the cataract and accurately reproduced with a physical assignment work. A cataract is an opacification of the lens in the eye. It usually occurs as part of the aging process, where the lens becomes very white and cloudy and blocks your vision. This is a wall painting from the tomb of the master builder Ipwi at Thebes about 1200 BC. And this reveals an oculus treating the eye of a craftsman. Because of the length, because of, the length of the instrument, the scene may also be interpreted as cataract surgery by couching the lens into the vitreous cavity. And these are tools that were uh, found in the Saqqara Pyramid Complex, about 19 miles south of Cairo. And these are tombs that were found over 4,000 years ago. The tomb of Scar, the chief physician and one of Kemet's fifth dynasty rulers. And in the writing on the walls, there was a hint that surgery had actually been practiced in ancient Kemet. This was the third first hard evidence of it being performed as early in this. It contained about 30 brown, bronze surgical tools used by ancient Egyptian eye doctors. And it's the oldest ever found, including several needles. This confirms the high surgical skill achieved uh, that the ancient Egyptian and Babylonian probably used before Indian surgeons. And the couching operation is dislodging of the cataract away from the pupil and the surgeon would use a lancet to push the clouded lens backwards into the vitreous of the body of the eye. This relatively simple technique was able to restore the vision. That's probably why it was the procedure of choice for thousands of years. And this is still being performed today. I will show you a video of this. This is a man here uh, performing a couching procedure with these needles inside the eye and dislodging the uh, lens into the eye and it restoring the patient's uh, vision as well. This is Dr. Daniel LaRoche here describing the history of couching. What is couching? Couching is an ancient procedure developed in Africa where you use a small needle to displace the cataract into the vitreous cavity to allow light into the eye to restore vision. Here's another diagram of how a needle is inserted uh, through the eye through the area called the pars plana. Then it's rotated anteriorly in front of the lens to dislodge the lens posteriorly into the vitreous cavity to restore vision. This technique remarkably is still being performed today in some remote parts of Africa and, and poor areas with limited resources. Here you see the surgeon who's wiping the eye and prepping the patient and preparing himself for the procedure. Here he's gonna wash his hands with some hot water uh, this is a uh, old form of sterilization. We have much better techniques nowadays with uh, washing our hands with soap and water and using gloves. And here he's pulling out his surgical instruments and also his uh, uh, face mask. Normally we put the face mask on before uh, we sterilize our hands. And here's the surgical instruments which we would use sterile instruments. And here he's touched the face of the patient that may not be sterilized. And he's placing his hand on the eye and he's gonna insert this sharp instrument into the eye. And as he inserts it further into the eye, he's gonna eventually rotate it upwards and try to rotate and dislodge the lens into the vitreous cavity. This patient cannot see anything at all because the cataract is obstructing his vision. Uh, 
And so here he's rotating, manipulating the surgical instrument to dislodge the lens posteriorly. This manipulation and procedure can take several minutes. And then he removes the instruments from the eye. He then wipes the fluid that came out of the eye. Normally, you put antibiotics before and after into the eye uh, these days to prevent infection. And then he asks the patient to close his other eye and count how many fingers. You see one fingers, two fingers, three fingers. And the patient is able to see. They do charge for this. This is much less expensive than traditional cataract surgery techniques that we have today. But for some people, they may not be able to afford that. So that's why this procedure is still being done. Now he's cleaning his instrument, sterilizing it to be used into another eye. And this is how this couching technique that was invented in Africa thousands of years ago is still being performed today. We have much better techniques though that are much safer with not with completely removing the lens from the eye and placing an intraocular lens into the eye. This is Kaduna, Nigeria, a remote area with a tremendous amount of poverty, decreased access to cataract surgery. And you can see here, uh, blind people from cataracts are being led to an area where they can receive cataract surgery from the traditional uh, couching techniques that were used up to thousands of years ago. And you can see here, people are being checked with eyes examinations to see what their vision is, to see which eye cannot see. They're being brought to this makeshift operating room, which is not much of an operating room. It's a room with carpeting, prayer carpeting, uh, and this is where the procedure will be performed. We have sterile operating rooms now and sterile instruments. This is the instrument, the couching instrument that's going to be used to perform the procedure. Uh, we have sinks, uh, sterile operating rooms, and sterile instruments that we use. And here the device is being inserted into the eye, perpendicular to the eye, uh, three to four millimeters from the limbus, and it's rotated anteriorly to try to dislodge the lens into the vitreous cavity to restore vision. Now they ask the patient if he can see one fingers, two fingers, three fingers, a fist. The patient's able to see the fist, and so the procedure is success. From not being able to see to now being able to see. Then he washes his hands, cleans the instrument uh, with hot water, and will do the next patient that's in line for the surgery. These procedures are not always successful. Uh, this particular case, the patient was still not able to see after the procedure. There are very high risk of complications that can occur with this procedure, specifically infection, inflammation, um, this is the dislodgement of the lens into the vitreous cavity that you see here. We have much safer techniques today. This is inflammation in the eye, corneal swelling that can occur, secondary glaucoma that can occur, optic atrophy that can occur, bleeding in the eye, uh, retinal tears and retinal fluid that can occur. So there's a high risk of complications and infection that can occur with this, despite some successes. And then not only that, but there's no lens in the eye, so these patients will need a lens. So now we've evolved to many uh, later techniques with improved surgery. And nowadays we can also place an, a secondary intraocular lens in these patients so they can see better. It's called the glued posterior chamber intraocular lens technique uh, developed by Dr. Agarwal from India. You can see here, this is a patient that has a cataract that's been dislodged into the eye. And the patient has undergone a couching procedure, but nowadays we have better techniques where we can make an incision in the eye with expensive microscopes and expensive instruments here, uh, remove the jelly of the fluid that's in the eye, take out 
the cataract from the eye. And here the cataract is being lifted up into the anterior chamber, removed from an incision in the eye. The posterior vitreous fluid is being cleaned out. And a secondary modern intraocular lens is being placed into the eye and secured into position into the sclera through two openings on the side. And the handshake technique is being used to put the haptics in position beneath the sclera. Stitches, small 10 or nylon stitches are used to secure the wound and you're able to get a much better outcome.